10, the owner of a shoreline rock quarry is suing the town of East Haven, saying they're trying to shut him down. News 8's Bob Wilson spoke with both sides today, and he's got that story tonight from East Haven. So this East Haven rock quarry, it's been a rock quarry for about 70 years, says the owner. And now he's getting a cease and desist order. You can see the trucks are shut down. They're actually taking apart the equipment over here. They're complying. However, now they're firing back with a $25 million lawsuit against the mayor and some of the town officials. Miners have been pulling rock out of this East Haven quarry for decades, but recently it's been run by Farm River Rock. Since 2013, the town has granted them 37 blasting permits. But the owners say two weeks ago, they were denied and shut down. Fully insured, fully licensed blasting contractor went in for a permit, was told that he had been told by the mayor to issue no more permits. Is there a reason given? No. Farm River Rock says the mayor has been bullying and harassing them. In one year, the town jacked their land taxes from $15,000 to $107,000 an acre. There's a concentrated effort by, we believe, by the mayor and, and at his direction by town officials to attempt to tax this quarry out of business. We went to Mayor Joseph Maturo's office to get some answers. Attorney Adler says the average tax on a quarry in Connecticut is somewhere between ten dollars and $12,000 an acre. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. No comment. We're supposed to contact the town attorney. The East Haven town attorney talked to us at length off camera, but says he just got the $25 million lawsuit today and has not had time to fully read through it. He expects to comment on it sometime next week, but for now, the rock crushing equipment at the quarry will remain idle. If allowed to operate and uh, realize the stone that's available, that we know is available, uh, is worth anywhere from $40 million to 60 or $70 million. And the owner says this is just the first round of lawsuits. This was a personal set of lawsuits against the mayor and town officials. He says now he's forced to sue the town itself to try and get back in business. We're in East Haven. Bob Wilson, News 8.